Say, what's the matter? Uh, the ice cream truck break down? Comic book prices going up again? Hey, come on, why won't anybody talk to me? Wally, Wally, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, well, we went to the park today, and we were watching these kids playing with kites. Yeah? They were beautiful. There were big ones, and there were small ones, and there was one that looked like Superman till it crashed into that tree. They were spinning, diving, and climbing. Some were so high up, you could barely see them. Well, I like kites, too, but uh, why are you guys so sad? Well, we all like the kite so much that we ran to the store to buy one. Yeah? They cost a lot of money, and we're temporarily low on funds. Oh, I see. Hmm, that is a problem. Say, I know. Maybe we can make our own kite. How? Well, let's see. Uh, none of us have very much experience in this, so uh, we'll have to keep the design simple. Uh, but, you know, we could make it out of little odds and ends and bits of junk that we find lying around. Hey, let's look in good old Wally's closet. He's got lots of junk in there. <laughs> yeah, and we could just tie some string around all of it, and then maybe it'll fly. <laughs> I think we are going to need a lot of help. I know. Why don't we ask Mary the librarian? She always knows what to do. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a great idea. Hey, I've got another good idea. Yeah. While you guys are at the library, I'll call up Andy Kraft. He should be able to help us. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right, see ya. Right, okay, bye -bye. have a good time. Wait for me! Look at all these books. How are we ever going to find the right one? Couldn't we just look for one with a picture of a kite on it? Or maybe one that just says kites on the cover. Yeah, but where? Yeah. Hi, folks. Can I help you with something today? Hi, Marion. We Hi, want Wally. to learn how to build a kite. Oh, I see. And you're looking for books to help you? Yes. Yeah. We want, we want books about plans to build kites. All right, well, I'll tell you. Before you even look at a book, and before you try to build a kite, you should know a few things. Like, how does a kite work? How does a kite fly? What's the difference between a good kite and a bad kite? A good kite wears a white hat. A good <laughs> kite is a brightly colored kite. Sometimes. A good kite is one that you can look up to. What do you mean, Steve? No. Hmm. So, the next thing to do is figure out how to make a kite fly. How does it work? It floats on the breeze. That's very good. And if it's going to float in the air, then you've got to build it out of something very light. We can use paper. I always see paper blowing in the wind. But we better make it flexible so it won't blow apart. And we'll also need some string so we can look up at our kite, not look around for it after it blows away. That's true. Well, what else besides paper do you need? I could bring some wooden sticks from home. They're light, and but they're strong, and they're flexible. There you go. They'd be perfect. I'm sure they would be. I'll tell you what. Before I give you the book I, I want you to read on kite building, how about if we try one of the children's fun puzzles? Sure. That'd be a great that'll idea. Maybe help us understand. And that way, when you go to build your own, we'll be sure that it works. Those yeah. puzzles always help me, Miss Marion. I know they do. Wally, how would you like to guess the first word? I'm ready and rare to go. Okay. <laughs> The first, one, the first word has five letters, mm -hmm. and the clue for this is, when a kite flies up in the sky, sometimes it's below the clouds. But if you get a good wind current going, and it's nice and fast, it's no longer below the clouds, it's... Over them! All right, another word for over. It's the over. opposite of under. Under over. Well, another, another word for, for On over. On top? No, uh, one I got word. It. That's two Above. words. Above. Above. Can yeah. we spell that together? Above. Pretty good. It took you a while, but you finally got it. <laughs> well, we'll warm up to it. All yeah. right. Here's the next sure. one. Let's see if this one, if, if somebody else can get this besides Wally. Mm -hmm. The clue for this word is that it's something that you might make the tail of a kite out of. A hmm. bag? Well, there is an A in the middle, and bag was a pretty good fall apart. Yeah. Yeah, I that's no good. Wait, I have another clue. This one would be good for you. Okay. If your mom wants you to help dusting around the house, 
she might tear up some pieces of old material, and then you'd have something that I'm talking about here. Be good for tails. Oh, yes, you dust off things with a rag. Of course, I should. Great. You want to spell that? Sure. R-A-G. All right, our next word has five letters in it, too, and there's already an O there. <laughs> Let's see if Sean can get this one. You would put this on your hand when you're flying a kite so that the string won't cut it when it's going fast. Shh, if you know, don't say. Mittens? Well, look, there's an O in the middle. There's no O in mittens. I know a good hint. Go ahead, tell. It's something you wear when you play baseball. That's true. And sometimes oh, race car drivers. A glove. A glove. G? <laughs> glove. And that rhymes with love and I love you. Oh, I love you too, Wally. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the last one all together. OK. All right, now this one's hard, so put on your thinking caps. Concentrate really hard. I'm ready. OK, ready? I'm ready too. OK, here's I'm the clue. Ready. This is something that your string for the kite is wrapped around. My thumb! Well, Wally, I bet you if you tried to fly a kite, it might be wrapped around your thumb. <laughs> this is this is what, if you buy string in a store, it, it comes wrapped around that. Movies a spool? Are, well, it's another, it's sort of a spool. That That's a pretty good guess. A, a movie is wrapped around this as a well. A movie, movie real! Real! R? Uh, that's we got them all! Fantastic! Okay. And Molly, you got most of them. I know. Well, You're congratulations. Right. Brilliant. Now, I'll give you the book on kite building. Okay. All right. Here it is. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you'll bring it in and show it to me. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Hey. Bye, Miss Marion. Hey, Bye, Molly. let's split up and get some materials for, that we need for the kite. Yeah. If we all do our part, this kite will fly like a bird. Ooh. A brightly colored bird. <laughs> Let's go. See you, Wally. Bye. Good. Hey, look what I found. Some sticks for the frame. They're light, but they're strong. And they're flexible. Just perfect for what we need. <laughs> Good going, Jennifer. Handy, don't you? Oh, Handy. Hi, Andy. <laughs> oh, hi. He's gonna help us. <laughs> neat. Look at this. Uh, well, thank you. Say, Gosh. anybody seen Wally? Wally. <gasps> <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> are you allergic to heights? It's like you got caught in a ticklish situation there, Wally. <laughs> what are the feathers for? Well, we said we wanted the kite to fly like a bird, so I went and got some of my buddy's ostrich feathers. <laughs> First, I had to catch my buddy's ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, everybody. Let's get in the clubhouse and get to work. Yeah. Good right. All right, Sean, here's what we're going to do. Now listen up, because this is very important. Ah, right, there it is. You see the cardboard cutout over there? That's the outline of the kite. Now, what you're going to do is take the scissors and cut along those edges and cut it out. Yeah, I know. I just cut out everything that's not a kite. Right? Hmm. And, um, you were saying? Oh, yes, that's right. Jennifer, here's what you'll do. Since I know how much you like pretty bright colors, you're going to take these pieces of fabric here and cut out so we can start to work on the tail. Then okay. later on, you can color in the outline of what Sean has cut out for the kite. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, Wally, we're not going to leave you out. We need loops so that we can attach at all four corners the kite to the frame. So you're going to be in charge of cutting the string and gluing the loops. OK, I'll stick around. <laughs> Ta-da, boom. <laughs> now, while all of you are busy working on that, Felix and myself will be putting the frame together out of these three pieces of wood. OK. Two pieces of wood. So it's fun to make a scooter or a cake. It's fun to make anything at all. A big box kite, a helmet for a night, anything at all. Make a house for a bird, like a wedding works. It doesn't have to be the best. Make a paper hat, a bed for your cat. You can make up the rest. It doesn't have to be expensive to give you a lot of fun. You know, when you make your own toys, you feel so proud when you're done. It's so much fun to make a scooter or a cake. It's fun to make anything. Oh.
It's fun to make anything at all. A big box kite, a helmet for a night, anything at all. Make a house for a bird, like poetic words. It doesn't have to be the best. Make a paper hat, a bed for your cat. You can think of the rest. It doesn't have to be expensive to give you a lot of fun. You know, when you make your own toys, you feel so proud when you're done. It's so much fun to make a scooter or a cake. It's fun to make anything at all. A big box kite, a helmet for a night. Nicer than mine. Oh, no, it's first free too. Okay, but where are you going to fly now? Sure, let's go. Come on. Well, there it is, all done. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. All we need now is a tail. Turn around, Wally. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Wally. I won't let them use your tail. <laughs> Here, I made the perfect tail. Why, you certainly did. Why, I can't wait to see you fly this kite. Why, it makes me feel young again. Why, I can remember... I can remember... What? A time, a long time ago, when I was just a little lad in Cincinnati, Ohio, when I saw the biggest kite I'd ever seen in my life. And I had never seen a kite before. And this huge silver object came glittering and streaming across the sky. I thought it was a UFO. <laughs> so I immediately phoned into the police department to tell them about what I saw. They came down and took me down to the station. <laughs> also, I found out that the kite, when it came down, went into this big marshy area. So I naturally had to go check it out. <laughs> I well, found what out, did it look like? Well, there were weeds and ragweed and all kinds of plant life all over. And when I left that field that day, I was sneezing my head off. <laughs> so that's how I got my allergy about the heights. Wow. Ever since then, any time I see a kite in the sky, I sneeze. Sometimes even thinking about it makes me... <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> tight. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, maybe we can go outside and try this. Maybe this time I won't sneeze because we made it ourselves. Yes. We'll it see is a good we... kite. Right, but we've got to figure out now how to put the tail on now that Jennifer's finished making it. Oh, that's easy. It's a pretty tail. Thank you. Yours is pretty too, Wally. <laughs> Thanks. Now, it has to be attached somewhere on here. I'm not sure. Well, let's try the what string that... here. Well... Yeah, let's go! Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three! Oh, gosh. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three! You know, it looks like... What are we gonna do? Hey, maybe these might even help. You don't have to worry about me, Wally. I always land on my feet. Our kite is the most colorful and prettiest kite in the sky. It's the best kite I ever helped to make. <laughs> it's the only kite I ever helped to make. Ooh. <laughs> Easy on the string, Felix, or you'll be flying again. <laughs> well, Sean, I think my flying... More string. More string. Ah. <laughs> did you get yourself into this time. Figures.